Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice reading for the week starting June 20th, 2016. And this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. As always, keep an open mind. These are only general readings and so they're not going to apply to everybody watching or not in the same way. If you would like a personal reading, you can just follow the link in the description box below. And for now, just take away the messages that do resonate with you and your situation. Okay, so Aquarius, um, we have some energy of endings and beautiful new beginnings coming in for you this week. The overall energy of the week is the Ten of Winter. And the Ten of Winter is a really beautiful card. It is about your new day dawning. It is about the sun rising. Okay, and taking you into a new life, okay? Um, the Ten of Winter stands for the resolution of difficulties, a weight that is lifted off of your shoulders this week, and also the end of difficult situations or addictions or codependency issues, something that has been really dragging you back and holding you um, pinned down into a really bad place, a negative place. So the Ten of Winter is being free from that and starting something anew, starting something fresh, starting something that is positive and a lot more positive than um, you've had in your life in a long time, okay? Um, the energy for career and finances is the Fool. So the Fool is a really, really positive card. It talks about a complete new beginning. So some of you could be walking away from a job and starting a new job. And this is more in line with your dream job, okay? Because you're following your dreams or you're being guided and encouraged to follow your dreams and choosing a new job. Some of you may be changing your career completely, okay? You're walking away from a career that has not been fulfilling and it's been a lot of responsibilities and a lot of weight, um, it, you know, things weighing down on you. Um, and you're finally ready to move away from that and take flight, okay? And be free to choose the career that you've always wanted to have. The Fool talks about wonderful new beginnings and taking a chance, giving yourself a chance, giving your dreams a chance in terms of what you do for work, what you do to make money, your careers, your personal projects, your education. This is trying something new. This is stepping outside of your comfort zone and being happy about it and embracing beautiful new energy because you are being divinely guided through these changes. So definitely follow your heart, follow your intuition, and it will, tell, it will open up a whole new world for you. It will take you to such beautiful places and such beautiful places of abundance and prosperity and opportunity, okay, that are about to, um, well, that you are about to walk into in this week. If you have to relocate, if you have to travel, if you have to do something differently than what you've been doing until now, truly embrace it. Just go with it. It's what you're meant to be doing with the Fool, okay? It's a major arcana card, so it's really pointing you in the direction that you're meant to be going in. If you want to start your own business, that is an awesome idea. This is the week to do it because you're confident, you have faith in yourself and your skills and what you're trying to accomplish. You are feeling blessed and you're feeling abundant and you're pursuing your dreams and things are going to come together for you. In home and family, we have the Four of Swords. And in home and family with the Four of Swords and the Ten of Winter, I feel like you may be spending some time at home. If you are walking away from a job or a career, the Four of Swords is telling you that you're spending time at home to regroup, to recuperate, to get your energy energy levels back up, to clear your head from this difficult energy, to clear your head from um, these difficult experiences that you have gone through, to take away just the lessons and release the pain and the stress and the pressure. Um, so the Four of Swords is telling you that you're finding sanctuary in your own home, you're finding sanctuary with your family, you're spending time with your friends and they're helping you um, get your energy levels back up and they're also helping you come up with a clear perspective as to what you want to do next, okay? But the Four of Swords is a card of healing. So if you have been through difficult situations in terms of work um, or career or financial situation or personal projects, education, if you've been going through difficult times, struggles after struggles, um, this is the week where you're ending this. They are coming to an end. Embrace the new. If, if you have a choice between sticking with what this is and trying something different, try something different. You may spend some time at home this week, but that's a really beautiful thing. It's meant to help you heal and clear your head and come up with a new perspective. Come up with something completely out of the box for you to try. 
okay so really really embrace that and and follow this energy in terms of emotional life and love life we have the moon and so the moon is telling you that you are reaching new heights okay in terms of your intuition you are um reaching new well depths i should say of emotion um this week with the ten of winter and the moon the wind the moon also talks about a culmination it talks about uh things coming full circle things being brought to light um things coming full circle so that you can start something new so i feel like with the ten, ten of winter and the moon card um if you have been in a difficult relationship and it's something that has been on and off and you have been taking one step forward and five steps back and you've tried to get away from it and it, it kind of brought you back um anything like that okay with the ten of winter this is the week where you have peace from it you have release from it and with the moon card you're taking time to heal your emotions you're taking time to heal from these difficult um, experiences and also do a lot of self-reflection in terms of who you are what you deserve and love what kind of partner you deserve what kind of relationship you deserve what you have to offer and what another person needs to bring to the table in order to match that and give you what you deserve okay so it's a powerful time of healing and self-reflection and preparing yourself to move forward in a much better direction much healthier direction when it comes to love relationships for those of you in existing relationships, I feel like with the moon card, things are coming to light this week. And you may find yourself you may find yourself either deepening a connection. Um, if you have had difficulties, if you've been going back and forth with something uh, or not being on the same page all the time or anything like that, I feel like this is the week where the both of you decide that it's time to put that in the past and trust each other again and move forward together and for those of you who are single i do feel that this is a week when you are more attractive you're more confident you feel more beautiful and with the moon card i feel like the spotlight is on you you're looking more romantic and more mysterious and magnetic to other people and so with the ten of winter this could be a change in status for you if you've been single for a while and you've done the healing and you've done the self-reflection i feel like this is a week where you're going to have a lot of suitors available to you um and you know you're going to have your pick so again just focus on something that is healthy focus on something that is balanced focus on something that is in line with what you deserve in terms of health and well-being we have the eight of swords so the Eight of Swords with the Ten of Winter, I feel that um, if you've been dealing with any kind of limitations or restrictions um, or something that is rigid or planned out to the last detail or, or treatment that you have to follow religiously um, or anything like that, I feel like this is the week where that is coming to an end. You're completing that treatment, you're completing that process, you're completing that stage and you're free from it and you have healing from it, which is a beautiful thing. And so you're ready to start a new phase in your life where you are free of that health problem, where you are free of that um, pressure and that rigidity and those restrictions. You have kept that diet. You've stuck to the diet. You have respected it uh, to a T. And it is paying off for you this week, okay? It brings you the healing that it, it promised you. Um, and so I do see, and I'm also seeing if, If you had, you know, like a broken limb and it's been in a cast and you can move or you can move freely or anything like that, um, I feel like this is the week where it's it's coming off, the cast is coming off and you're completely healed and you're receiving a, clear, a clean bill of health and you're free again to do whatever it is that you want to do, okay? No more restrictions and no more holding back. Um, guidance card, we have take time for yourself okay so take time for yourself this is telling you that it's okay for you to to just think about yourself and to think about what makes you happy your dreams your aspirations your desires this week it's okay for you to do that that's what you're supposed to do that's why you have gone through all of these lessons and all of these difficulties so you can learn from it you can grow from it and plan your next move so that it's something that makes you truly happy because you deserve to be so this is telling you to enjoy 
relaxing activities this week that nurture your soul, that nurture your dreams, okay? So this is telling you that maybe your responsibilities and the responsibilities that other people have put on you, more importantly, have been very overwhelming for you. And this is the week where you are becoming free, okay? You are kind of delegating those responsibilities back to the rightful owner. It's not up to you to save the world. It's not up to you to take care of every single person around you and do their work for them. It's one thing to help someone at one point in their life, but it's a very different thing to do someone's work for them when they can actually do it for themselves, but they just don't want to or they're just lazy. So this is a week for you where you're being guided and encouraged to take this time for yourself, okay? Take time to rest, recuperate, to heal. Take time to self-reflect. Take time to do things that are relaxing to you, that are recharging your batteries, that are getting your energy levels on the right track, and that are getting you excited about life, and you're, they're getting you in a place of joy and enthusiasm and just being carefree and embracing new energy, new people, new situations, okay? You deserve, you deserve this, you have earned it, so embrace this. This is what you're meant to be doing this week, okay? So there you have it. These are the messages that I have for you for this week. I hope that you've enjoyed the reading and I hope it is useful. Let me know. Um, I hope that you have a really blissful week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.